what's up everybody, Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I've got another quick tip tutorial for XO by XLN Audio. This time I'm gonna be showing you how to get individual audio outputs from XO into your DAW. So each one of the sequencer lanes here or the sequencer controls has an M. If you look at the M right here and click it, you can actually change the output to any one of eight different buses. Now what's cool about this system is I can double up if I wanted to. Uh, let's say I wanted these two hats to go to bus one. Now I can double up. So they're not dedicated outputs. We can actually change which audio lanes go out into their own audio lanes inside of our DAW. So the next step would be come into Ableton Live, for example. Control T for audio. Where it says audio from, we want to come down to XO. And then we want to choose which bus. So I'm going to choose bus one. And then I want to monitor to in. And if I go ahead and play this now... You can see that both of my hi-hat channels are being routed out separately into this audio channel. So we can do that up to eight different buses. So if I want to send my snares and my claps, or if I want to send my two heavy bass hits to their own audio channel and then process them with my, you know, my other effects over here, easily done using XO. Now, there's another option inside of here too. For example, on my kick here. Let's say... I'm going to go ahead and mute the 808 bass hit. So now I have my sort of kick here. I can go out to its own bus, like bus 2, for example, and then do my side chaining. Or I can go to bus and master. And what this does is actually doubles up the audio. So let me come out here. Uh, let's go bus and master 2. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to add another audio channel inside of Ableton Live. Do the same process again. XO, bus 2, audio in. But watch what happens. If I solo this, I'm getting that kick. But if I solo the master, the kick is still in there. And this is very useful if you don't want to have multiple outputs to use your different effects, but you're just looking to do a side chain. What I can do now is delete this audio channel, make sure we go to master for both of these again. And now I can actually turn off the audio output here. And now I can use that kick as a ghost sidechain. So anyway, that's a quick tip on using multiple outputs inside of XO by XLN Audio. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about this instrument, it's absolute killer. You know, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.